Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and this is going to be part two of my Mac Pro clone. In the last video, you saw me fail at installing the GPU where the case would close up and everything, um, fail at installing the water cooler, and fail at also even choosing a water cooler that worked with the motherboard. This time, hopefully I've cleared up those issues and you're going to see me actually succeed, but there's no guarantees. Uh, let's go. Okay, so this is the new um, Silverstone water cooler that I got. The reason I chose this one is because one, it does work with LGA 1151, which the last one did not. And for two, it's a much thinner water cooler than the last one. So I think this one will truly work inside this case. So we should be good there. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and everything. Okay, so let me take this lid off and then I'm gonna pull the graphics card out. Um, that way I can get to the motherboard. Okay, I'll put this off to the side. And now I'm going to unscrew the motherboard, that way I can get the back plate for the water cooler on the back of the motherboard. Okay, so let's see how this back plate fits on here. Okay, so you put these four screws in, and then it should be able to go in the back of the motherboard. Just kind of slide in the four holes um, ready for it. Okay, so let's slide it in. Perfect, so it's got these little spacers that go on as well. And those just hold that little bracket up, which is perfect. And as you can see, this one actually works for LG1151, so we're good there. Okay, so now I can put the motherboard back in the case. Let's get the case up here. And just in case anyone was noted, noticing, um, this is a inverted layout. So the motherboard is upside down compared to what it normally is in this case. And I always suggest doing the rear screws first because that holds the pressure up against that back plate. And then you can put in the top, the front screws. In a mini ITX, obviously it's easier than most motherboards because there's only four screws. And this is that one that sucks because it just, it totally did not think this through. Because it is totally at an angle getting at it, so it never really is going to tighten down all the way. As long as I got a little bit of pressure on it, that's good enough. All right, so I'm going to take this out of our way this time so that I can for sure get that water cooler in. And then if I can, I'm going to add it back because obviously that's what's actually holding the weight of the SFX power supply. Interesting. 
let's go ahead and plug that back in. Okie dokie, so let's see if I can get this in here. Peel this. Get some thermal paste on there. I actually prefer putting it on the CPU. Okie dokie, so now let's put in the SFX power supply. And that right there, guys, is how you fit a water cooler into this little case. So next up will be how we fit a graphics card into here. Because that's the next challenge. I'm gonna have to cut a little square here off and cut this off so that the panel can just come straight across. So let's give that a shot. Let me get this back off. So that water cooler works. Honestly, there's no screws holding it there, um, but there's no way anything's gonna move in this thing because it's gonna be so tightly packed. Um, so there's no real reason to have screws. The fan in it doesn't exactly line up. The fan is askew because that's the way the screws are lined up, um, but it'll work the same. It's the same radius on the um, actual water cooler. So that'll be fine. Okie dokie, so let's put this GPU in the top, the GTX 1050Ti. And here's a good look at the case all the way around. And okay, so now I gotta go cut that slit. Oh crap, the cops! So I was able to finish the project in the morning when the cops were gone. Okay, so... I got this slit cut so that the GPU actually fits in the case and everything. The water cooler is in there, the power supply is in there. So we're going to close this thing up and we're going to see how it runs.
So as you guys can see, this is my Mac Pro clone. I got everything in there that I needed to get in there. I got the graphics card, I got the water cooler, and I got an i7-6700K in there. So literally, this is about as powerful of a machine I think I could make in this case. Um, as you can see, there's the graphics card. It kind of sticks out a little bit. I had to cut a little indention in the case. Um, the reason I, it's not prettier than it is, honestly, is because I don't have a shop here. Um, so I can't make like a cover for it or anything like that. Normally I would if I was had access to a shop, but obviously I don't. So it's going to look like that for now. Um, but I'm really glad that I got the graphics card in there. I got the water cooler in the bottom. Um, you can even see the fan, that blue fan in the bottom. Um, so that's awesome that I got that in there. And literally everything's running perfect. Um, just to show you guys. I'll turn on this monitor and there is Windows 10. Obviously it's way bigger than it should look, but that's because I haven't um, installed the graphics drivers and all that for the card. So once that's done, I'm going to run some benchmarks on it and check out the thermals and everything and see how hot or how high I can overclock that CPU since I do have a water cooler in there before the thermals go through the roof. Um, so it'll be interesting to see that'll be part three. Um, but this is the end of part two. I hope you guys really liked it. And this is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!